Hello, I'm Mike Wagner, and welcome to Farm Nation, where we help tell the stories of America's farmer organizations. It has been a long year for many pig farmers that have experienced firsthand the impact of porcine epidemic diarrhea virus, or PEDV. Since first surfacing just over one year ago, it has spread to farms in 30 states. And although it poses no threat to human health or food safety, it is causing increased piglet death and labor cost anywhere it appears. Craig Rolls, partner and general manager of Elite Pork Partners in Carroll, Iowa, encountered PEDV in his operation late last year. Rolls had trained his employees on the warning signs of PEDV, and that training paid off with early detection in November of 2013. A young man named Jeremy who walked into a farrowing room and he was getting ready to process pigs and he realized that something was very wrong, that every litter in the room had diarrhea and he immediately stepped back out of the room, contacted his manager who contacted me. We immediately uh, locked down the farm at the time. We grabbed some sample pigs and transported them to the diagnostic lab at Iowa State where the uh, confirmation occurred for PED. PEDV is a disease that attacks the intestinal tract of pigs, causing them to have difficulty absorbing fluids. While adult hogs can overcome the disease by drinking more until the virus passes, suckling pigs often cannot get enough milk from a sow while infected and die of dehydration. PEDV spreads through contact with infected pigs' diarrhea and causes increased piglet mortalities and increased investment of time and material in cleaning and sanitation measures. But Roll says PEDV's costs go beyond the bottom line. The loss of animals has a financial impact on everyone's business, but there's also an emotional toll that can be taken. The people that work in these farrowing barns, they go to work every day trying to save every piglet. That's their job. They get to deal with the miracle of birth on a day-to-day -day basis, and they're, they're enthusiastic about raising pigs up to the point that they can be weaned and sent on to the next step in life. It's very, very difficult for them when they have to focus and know that the decisions they're gonna to make today are which pigs have to be humanely euthanized because they can't make it on their own. And those are very, very tough days for our employees. The National Pork Board launched an aggressive effort to combat PEDV soon after the disease was first reported in the U.S. in May of 2013. The pork checkoff response to the PED virus outbreak has been extremely rapid and also unprecedented in the fact that there was over $2.1 million allocated to do initial and critical research on this virus. When we first identify it, we really didn't know anything about it. So the checkoff really got on this aggressively and allocated the monies in order to be able to research this disease quickly. The other part was to get results back in a very timely manner in less than six months. The National Pork Board also took a very collaborative approach, combining forces and sharing knowledge with the U.S. Department of Agriculture, the American Association of Swine Veterinarians, and the National Pork Producers Council, among others. Research has also proven that PEDV is not a threat to humans. The PED virus is only a disease of swine. It poses no threat to human health, nor does it pose a threat to food safety. Although it's an uphill battle, there are many things that farmers can do immediately after an outbreak of PEDV to try to save as many baby pigs as possible. Once PEDV is detected on a farm, under the direction of a veterinarian, the producer will expose the entire sow herd to the PEDV virus. The virus will make the sows ill, but it will not kill them. The exposure will cause the sow to build immunity to the virus and then be able to pass the protection to her piglets through the milk. Second, make sure all the piglets get a good suckle from the sow. Third, ramp up sanitation and cleaning practices with extra steps that ensure thorough washing and disinfection of every stall in the barn. Your veterinarian can provide guidelines. Pig farmers also are encouraged to stay vigilant on other biosecurity measures. PED has shown us in the industry that biosecurity can't just be lip service. It has to be something that you walk and talk every day. Rolls, who is also a veterinarian, counsels his peers to focus on making sure transport trucks are cleaned and disinfected, limit access to the farm, both in foot traffic and supply truck traffic, and work with feed suppliers to make sure they also have best management practices in place as well. For those who have not had PEDV on their farms, focus on prevention. Continue to work hard to keep the disease out of your farm. Number two, if you are exposed, 
your only choice is to get it over as quickly as you can. Veterinarians know what they're doing with this disease now. Get involved with your veterinarian and work out a, a cleanup and management plan. Well, that is our story for this episode. Thank you for watching Farm Nation. If you'd like more information about this story, we encourage you to visit pork.org slash PEDV. -E